My name is Felicia, and I have stage 3 ovarian cancer. I was told I was never supposed to have children. Never. And uh, I was really sick for, for a few weeks. And I wound up going in, and the doctor did a pregnancy test and found out that I was pregnant. But um, after checking all my vitals, doing everything else, doing the necessary blood and everything, they sent me over for an ultrasound to find out exactly how far along I was when my due date would be, all that, that good stuff. And uh, they found a large tumor on my left ovary. And since I was pregnant, they couldn't actually go in and do a biopsy, so instead they took uh, 16 vials of blood and found out that there was an anomaly in my blood, that it was more than likely cancer since there was a large tumor on my ovary and there were no other signs of tumors anywhere else. And uh, and told me that they couldn't exactly tell me what it was, but after I was pregnant I would find out. And after I had my son, I found out that it was stage 2 ovarian cancer. <clears throat> and it had doubled in size since they had first found it. I had the support that I needed from my family and my friends and, and the doctors running tests and things like that, but I didn't have any anything for me. Like, like I felt alone in a room full of people. and. I, I didn't really know how to handle it and um, I went into the doctors actually and my doctor noticed like I used to be real bubbly and you know nice and, and everything was going on and I'd go into my appointment and I'd just sit there and be like okay well what's wrong with me now you know I don't want to go to my doctor's appointment something you know they're just gonna find something else that's wrong with me and uh, he sent me to a therapist and I went to a therapist and I talked to them a lot about it and uh, and uh, and they they helped me they helped me handle it and I mean, I was not mentally prepared for, for it when I found out at all. Like, I was told, I don't think I quite comprehended what it meant. Like, when I first was told, I was like, oh, I have cancer, whatever. And then I started seeing, like, I started noticing, like, cancer commercials and, and uh, like, different things on the internet about cancer and, and reading books up um, on it. And I was, I was terrified. So, when they wound up giving me the, uh, the opiate pain pills to, to handle it, I didn't, I didn't want to take them, but I didn't say no. Every four hours I was taking two extra strength uh, Vicodin, a morphine, and, uh, and the Norco. The Norco is, is the 10 milligrams of the Vicodin. So I've already have 7.5, two 7.5s, another 10 milligram of Vicodin, and then like a four milligram of, of the morphine. Yes, Connor was was walking to his dad and, and, and saying daddy and talking to people and when he came to me he'd just kind of come up and sit on my lap and just like be quiet and I'd, I'd notice like in my, my spots of, of lucid thought that I'd see him like playing with everybody and like giggling and running around and having fun and drawing pictures and whenever he came over to be with me he either just he sat on my lap, he sat next to me or he'd wiggle in between my legs on the floor and just sit there with me. There was, there was no, he had no reaction from me so he had no reaction for me.